What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. Welcome to my turf, my court, my playground. What do you say we work on some positioning? Let's go, let's get it. So we're looking at your upper back, correct? Yes. All right, cool. So I'm gonna have you stand over here. You're gonna be facing the board. Let's get everything lined up to your height here. Chest all the way up against the board there for me. Good, just hold very still there. Any questions? Turn to your right, left side against that board. There you go. And then above your head, put both hands on this bar here. And then move your left until you touch that board. Gonna move you forward. Move your feet with you. There you go. About right there. Let's see, move you forward just a little bit more. Okay, just breathe normal, hold still. Okay, so we're gonna leave your left hand on the bar there, we're gonna drop your right arm down to your side. And do you have any uh, issues with your shoulders? Pretty no. flexible there? Yeah. Okay, good. So uh, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna kind of uh, open up your shoulder joints there. So basically, um, if I'm going through your shoulder there, it's kind of too dense. So I'm just gonna kind of open it up here, okay? So just leave your arm down to your side. Put your left hand on that bar. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Uh, the lower one, huh? There you go. And okay? Okay. And then I'm just gonna reach for your toes when you're right on. There you go. Kind of feel that stretch there. still right there. All right, you can relax. We're all done. I shoot my standing T-spine PA to limit dose to the radiosensitive organs. I have my patient roughly in the area where I want. Decrease OID by getting their chest close to the bucky, MSP aligned with the vertical crosshair of the tube. I then align my bucky and tube to the patient's height. To do this, I feel for the inferior angle of a scapula, which is a landmark of T7 where the central ray needs to be centered at. The collimation can be deceiving, but as long as you have your image receptor lengthwise and you're centered at T7, you got it, girl, you got it. <laughs> I then have my patient turn to the right, left side against the board, hands on the bar to get their arms out of the way, have them move left until they touch the board to decrease OID and to encourage no movement. Move them forward or backwards to have the T-spine in the center of the central ray. And then move your left until you touch that board, and then move your forward. Also have them move their feet when they move so they're not leaning to get their spine vertical. Remember, even though the shoulders and arms move, the spine does not, 
so leave the tube and bucky align where it is. Looking back at this example, I should have kept my collimation how it was and just moved him forward a bit instead of opening up the collimation. Had I taken the exposure, I would have had the area of interest, however unnecessary tissue exposure anteriorly of the T-spine. On the bar there, we're gonna drop your right arm down to your side. And do you have any uh, issues with your shoulders? Pretty. I always ask my patient if they have any issues with their shoulders because we're about to give them a stretch. I demonstrate what I'm gonna have them do because this is an odd position and most tend to tilt their body to the right. We wanna make sure that the head and spine are in a true lateral and vertical position. I have them leave their arm closest to the bucky above their head, hand on the bar other arm directly to their side, not rolled anteriorly or posteriorly. Then have them reach down, again keeping their head and spine in a true lateral and vertical position. I angled 5 degrees caudal since I felt like he wasn't as mobile with his shoulders. You want the central ray aiming for C7T1. I do this by aiming above the shoulder notch. You can also feel for the vertebra prominence, which is a landmark of C7. Relax, we're all done. T-spine, baby, that's it. It seems so simple now, now that I look back at it, but I feel like that's normal. When you're not used to something in the beginning, like positioning, it's difficult at first to understand. But then, once it becomes basically your life, repetition after repetition, it just becomes natural. So as I said before, get in there and do work. Practice, practice, practice. Get over your fears. As Zig Ziglar once said, Fear is false evidence of being real. And with that, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. My thoughts and prayers go out to you and your families. Please don't be ignorant and stay educated. Stay up to date in the world and what's going on and learn how you can do your part and help. I also know a lot of y'all getting anxious because of the negativity and the uncertainty of what the future holds. So I just wanted to leave you all with something that I learned in my 30 years of life. And that is, we tend to make up stories that are made up in our head that haven't even happened yet. Some of which that create fear, doubt, that overcomes us. And guess what? We believe them, but they aren't true. It hasn't even happened yet. Forget those fake stories. You create what's real. Change your mindset. Change the game. Make a difference. You have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your x-rays. All love, baby. Be safe out there. Peace.